Captain is life. Hello, I am oh, a gamer. We're, we're playing. Yes, we're we are playing. playing. Ah, I'm a gamer. Yes. yes. And we have Mel Beast with us again. Mel Beast. How did the pot not fur though? It's not fair. Suck it. And then oh spot. yeah. How far do you get? Um, I beat the game, I'm just playing it again. And I just got the Master Sword, and I'm just like, I don't know if I'm playing anymore. <laughs> you mean Come get some you're doing like, the second playthrough where you're in the lobster pajamas? Yes, Aww. I love the pajamas. Uh -huh. Watch out, e Honda! Yeah, you have to jump on top of the little cart. I like thing. how Boo's like your little cheerleader. Come on, bitch! Like, what are you doing? Ah, uh, uh, yes! Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, the rule of threes. Yep. Good old Nintendo. Go. Yes! I love... Oh god. Oh, he's oh, the real deal. In an Aladdin world, rules of threes do you. There we go. Oh, the rule of four. All of a sudden. Oh, really? I don't know why. Yeah, well, this, is, this isn't... Um, for all those on Nintendo, this is Capcom. Oh, that's true. This isn't Capcom. Yeah, hey, look at Jasmine, Jasmine. Even though we all know it's Jasmine. My wife will. Yes, bitch. Come on. Take me to the. Take me to Pound Town! <laughs> yeah! FYI. It's I cool. I'll, I'll get Jasmine and Tim can have a lap. You can have a lap. Password is. Password is gas. Genie Abu Aladdin. G A A S. Sultan. I love the Sultan. You're so cute. Yeah. He's so tiny. You know what the fuck? Sub Gur. You want to. <laughs> Together, Aladdin and Jasmine escape the Sultan's guards and run to, run Aladdin's, to Aladdin's home, home high above, above Agrabah. Agrabah. There, they enjoy the view and discuss their dreams. There, they enjoy the Netflix view. and chill. Oh God! <laughs> Sultan and chill. Who's <laughs> all pissed off? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, the creepy guy. I forgot about him. And then it just skips way ahead plot-wise. Oh, yeah. yeah, bondage. But all he can do, the strange old man up here, is S offering S his S these S nuts. And, 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 Glad to get out S of the prison. Aladdin doesn't expect the old man is and, actually and, too far. And, and, I forgot. For sure. Are you a fan of uh, Aladdin Change the Wall? Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Aladdin likes that kind of thing. Oh, I love this level. Oh, they can't. The gamer instincts kick in as soon as I see a fucking thing that's got like a crack in it that's like a yeah. different color. I'm like, immediately like, throw shit at it! God. What the hell? Oh, this is... Uh. <laughs> he just kind of sits on the spikes. Like yeah, he's like, like well, fuck it. It's like, well, I'm already gonna die, so I might as well just accept my fate. Jump. Dash. Apple. Uh, I'm gonna pay more attention this time. I'm actually trying to accomplish things. Things and stuff. So you have to hit. You have, Ouch! You have to like. Whatever. <laughs> when you're invincible, you might as well just run. Yeah. Bat. Zoo bat. Oh, poor bat. Cave herpes. <laughs> I feel bad. I don't like killing bats. Cave herpes. I didn't realize. Edward Cullen. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize that Zubat was like considered a basic enemy in gaming world. What do you mean? Like you know when you start a game out, like the first few enemies you fight is like slime, yep. a rat, oh, I see what you're a saying. bat, stuff like that. So like rat attack, Damn it. Oh. and suicide. Zubat and what's his face? It's a common enemy, do you mean? That's like, what I mean. Just like a low level like. Oh, you don't oh, have to. Shit, oh, Ooh, something on it. Oh. oh, and then immediately kills himself afterwards. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, there you go. This game. What happens when you talk shit? This game is. I think we get a chance to talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> I played this little game. This little game. This game with my little brother. And, uh. You have a little brother? I do. You didn't know that? I what? I didn't know that. Yeah. When did this happen? Uh, about 28 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> He's See when a mommy and a daddy love each other. <laughs> oh my god. I actually just talked to him last night. I, I brought him up to speed on um, the channel. He lives in Chicago. Oh, okay. So, Chicago. Yeah. Chicago. He is um, a musical genius. He's, he plays the bassoon. 
Oh, what? Wow. That's badass. Yeah. He, okay. Here's here's me like bragging about my little brother. When we were in high school, we were both in band, and we were both like we're both creative nerds. Like we we're very oh, much okay. very much of the same plot. Oh, and, this gives me so much anxiety. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> well, when when we were in band together, he started off on the saxophone, which is like one of the most popular instruments, and he decided. No, no I don't like him. Yeah, just just give up. <laughs> like, well, he, he made the decision, he made the decision that, you know, obviously saxophone is a popular instrument, so he was like, you know what, I'm going to teach myself to play the bassoon, and when he graduated from high school and he was auditioning for a couple different schools, he ended up going to VCU, they've got a phenomenal music department, and Oh yeah. there's a guy who um, is a professor there who like, specializes in bassoon. So when my brother did his audition, this guy was like, "Wow, he's like, you're really good. Um, some of your fingerings are a little, are a little, you know, not traditional, but otherwise, like, you're you're super good. Like, who taught you?" And my brother was like, "Oh, I taught myself." And he was like, oh, "I must have this student. <laughs> like, he's a genius." And um, a genius. at this point, yeah, like he he's got his master's degree. He, after VCU, he went to Ohio State, got his master's. And um, there, I don't believe there's a doctorate available in performance. Otherwise, he would be working on his doctorate right now. So I think he's done all the. Um, damn it! Damn it. <laughs> as far as like achieving a degree goal, like mm -hmm. he's he could still go to school, but I think he could maybe get like a second master's degree. I don't know. He's he's uh, obviously the expert, but. He went to South Korea recently. Oh, lucky bastard. Yeah, well, there's not a lot of bassoonists in this world. It's really, not only is it hard to play, but it's really expensive to own, and it's difficult to maintain. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's it sucks when he travels, because he basically, I don't know if he's to the point where he's buying, like, a plane seat for his instrument, but his bassoon is so expensive that it's, like, not worth risking putting, putting it under the plane. Mm -hmm. Like the the air pressure and the temperature changes and everything could like ruin the instrument if it's handled incorrectly. Yeah, right. And uh, not to oh, why not? We're already off on a super tangent. Um, he's told me all these horror stories about professional musicians, where specifically in America, like America has a terrible, terrible, terrible track record. What? Of, of destroying instruments because like Homeland Security or whatever. Will be like it's a bomb, or like yeah. it's suspicious. So there's all these. Um, God, I think it happened to a concert pianist. Like this guy paid the gajillions of dollars to have his fucking piano like shipped, and like what the fuck? And like the NSA, like the Homeland Security or whatever, um, decided that it was a potential threat, and they destroyed his piano. They like get the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, they tore it apart, and they were like, well, "He was suspicious." And this guy was understandably furious, and he was like, "I'm never coming to America again." He was like this like Russian composer or something. Uh -huh. Oh, it makes me so mad. Did just he talking about it. get money? I would. I hope so. Did he get? God, I mean, I would like to think he would have insurance on it, but yeah. it's it's just the principle of the thing. It was like when you're when you're at that level. Everything you touch is like custom made just for you. And, God, I did and the he, same thing last time. Yeah, you know, if you get on that one spot, it's gonna make you jump automatically. Mm -hmm. Like I tried to stand on it, and he's like, "No parkour." I was like, "Oh no." <laughs> I want to do other things. I love parkour. I yeah. wish I did it when I was younger. Well, I mean, I like watching other people do it. I obviously. Uh, I okay, well, yeah. oh, well do you want to end it here? Yeah, I think we're gonna end this episode here, and then we'll try and see if we can actually beat this fucking level, which none of us seem like we can <laughs> do. Um, so yeah, bye! Bye! bye. bye.